Okay, uh, so welcome back everyone. Uh, so you guys can see my screen, right? And you? Okay, okay, thank you. Um, so uh, we're going to be having a session on uh, how to use AI to generate emails and marketing content drafts. So it's going to be a short session and we're going to have some demos and we're going to see how we can do it in real life. Uh, yeah, so uh, let's start with uh, creating uh, email uh, drafts using AI. So uh, when creating email drafts uh, for using AI, the things that you have to consider are, uh, you have to start by defining the purpose and the audience. So why are you sending these emails? and who are you sending them to so that's the first thing the first thing that you need uh, to go through and the next thing is you just uh, you are just going to input these uh, uh, parameters you can call them into the ai uh, and we are going to see how we can uh, craft a better prompt or a better query uh, to help us achieve this and then after uh, the AI creates this um, email draft, we are going to check for the accuracy, clarity, grammar, and style, and inject, uh, inject our own uh, personalizations and engaging language into them, so they can have that human taste or that human uh, essence to them. So the first thing we can we have to do is. Uh, just define the purpose or define the goal of that email and who is the person that's going to be on the other end receiving this email and then uh, just writing the prompt is the next thing so i do have an example here so uh, i just created a scenario this scenario is going to serve us for both the uh, when we uh, try to create the marketing content and for the email drafts. So the scenario is, let's just assume that uh, there is a company called Green Air Landscaping, and it's, uh, a, uh, it's a company uh, that works on uh, creating sustainable and eco-friendly landscaping practices. So you work at this company. So this is just the scenario, just the background of the company, and uh, the purpose of you, why you want to send this uh, email is that uh, there is a person, a new person, a new customer that just uh, just landed, and uh, he has just booked a landscaping uh, consultation ser service from your company. So the who and the why are written here. So I just defined the purpose. Uh, the audience and the scenario. So here's just uh, one of the prompts that you can use. So make sure to just uh, go uh, well with it and uh, edit it and uh, prompt it as you go. So you won't be able to uh, make a, a perfect prompt at the, at the first try, but you can just iterate to them and uh, create a better prompt. So, for this example, let's just have this prompt. So, uh, this prompt, I'm, I'm I'm just going to use this prompt. So, on behalf of Green Ad Landscaping, write a welcoming email. So, you can insert the, the name here. So, uh, you can also define the name of the customer here if that's one c customer. But if you are planning to write for multiple customers, just uh, insert it here and who recently booked a landscaping consultation. So briefly thank them for choosing Green Earth Landscaping and express your excitement about work, working with them. Uh, briefly highlight the company's commitment and sustainable, sustainable practices and creating beautiful ecosystem landscapes. So this is a welcoming uh, email and 
also offer and uh, to answer any question they might have uh, before the consultation and provide contact information uh, contact information for scheduling and then finally so this one is uh, just to show uh, to give uh, the ai what kind of email you want so i just want to have a friendly and informative tone you might want to have a professional tone you might want to have a formal or informal and so on so that just depends on the company and uh, on the kind of email and the kind of person that you are writing this email to so i just wanted to have this friendly and informative tone uh, just to reflect that uh, the company's dedication to exceptional is uh, customer service so this is just a prompt so let's just see how and what it gives us right so uh, you can use uh, any kind of ai tool that you want uh, for this session though i was planning to use uh, three ais for creating an email so let's just try them so the first one is uh, grammarly and uh, mail metro and uh, the one that we have uh, been working on let's just try copilot so we're gonna give them uh, we're gonna give them the same prompt and let's see uh, what they are going to give us so this is for the mail metro so uh, you can see it here uh, it's going to give me um, an email so uh, thank you for choosing the company for landscaping concentration we are thrilled to be work working with you so this um, this highlights that you see or the underline that you see is from grammarly so it's just an extension just to improve your writing so uh, blue means uh, it can be improved but uh, just for clarity but uh, it doesn't have that much of influence so uh, you can see that uh, these are called placeholders so these placeholders are just there to be replaced so here you, you you're gonna replace it with a customer name or if you want you can just uh, here um, let's say But it's going to consider it, yeah. So you can just insert the name and it's going to insert it for you. So just make sure uh, to insert everything that you want included in the email uh, on the prompt that you are going to be using. So yeah, uh, this is pretty much, uh, pretty much it. And just make sure to insert the phone number and the email address here because you on the prompt you said uh, they can consent uh, they can contact you for information and for scheduling so for the contact information you have to provide the phone number or email address or website or anything and here you're gonna sign off your name so this is just for mail metro and for the grammarly you can also uh, sign up here and just use the generative AI option and give it the prompt that we had earlier and it will generate. So they all generate a slightly um, different uh, emails, drafts. So make sure to check them out and use the one that you want uh, or you find appealing. and. You, you can also uh, create or change uh, the tone of the email here so you can make it more persuasive or assertive so yeah it will uh, just do it for you so you can also uh, edit kind of edit or you can also create or uh, create yeah you can create 
a blog or a mar marketing content using Grammarly. And yeah, uh, since the steps are the same for Copilot, I'm not going to go through it. Um, but I have uh, or actually mentioned the links here, so you can check them out. So that's the example for email. So are there any questions or anything that's unclear? I want to right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So any questions? Okay. I'm going to take that as a no. So uh, the next thing yeah, that you should do is just, as you have seen on the challenge document, you have to go through them and uh, just here review and personalize their drafts. So uh, AI is not perfect, so you have to go through them and uh, check for uh, the parameters that easily, that can I make the email or the marketing content be identified as uh, AI generated. So, yeah. And for the marketing content, um, so you just have to start by defining the goal and the target audience. And uh, this is actually optional. So you can gather input information, more input information for about the product and the company and choose the content type. So you can be a blog or a post on any social media or a letter. So you can choose that and just use the AI drop the AI to create a draft. And then uh, just review and personalize the draft. So you can include a, uh, a clear call to action CTA uh, writing in it. So call to action means uh, that requires the recipient, the recipient uh, just to do something, you might uh, ask them to schedule a meeting, you might ask him to do something. So yeah, you can uh, make sure to add this or you can ask them uh, to just click here or uh, to register or anything, just depending on your marketing uh, goal. So we do have a an example for this one too. So the scenario is just like the first one, but the goal is different and uh, the, also the audience is different. So the goal here is just to create a media post uh, prompting the company's spring planting services. So our company has a spring planting service and we want to have to create a social media post, especially uh, uh, just the Instagram post. So specifically from the social media, we want our audiences, just audience, uh, the Instagram. So yeah, we just wanted to create a social media post. So here's the prompt. Um, so the first one is just for the image. So this is optional. Uh, I just used this one because I wanted to create a post that has an image. So the image is just, uh, uh, the company wants to create a catchy social media post for Instagram prompting, uh, promoting our uh, spring plant service. So use an eye-catching image of beautiful, colorful garden. So these are the highlights of the caption. So let's just see what it gives us. So I'm going to use Copilot because I want to generate images. Um, I haven't signed in, so it might not uh, generate the image, but... Yeah, uh, let me just sign in. Oh, um, okay, I don't have this the account for this one here.
So in the meantime, are there any questions? Uh, anything that's unclear? Okay. So I just want to show you this one. So you can see my screen, right? So um, yeah, so it's just going to create the image and the content that I want. It even it even going to create the hashtags. Uh, is that a question? We you can access your document. Uh, okay, uh, the, I think you are referring to the slides and it will be shared on the drive. So yeah, so it created this uh, image for me. So it's a beautiful, beautiful garden. So yeah, I'm just going to choose whichever I want. And if I want to change them i can customize them or change up my prompts be more specific and it will generate it so i can use the image and i can use the content that it, ha it has generated for me and rebuild and edit it as i want and yeah just use it so um that's it for me uh, are there any questions Yes, good advice. Okay, thank you, Kerry. So the, the, the today class is actually uh, it's clear. Uh, if you allow me, I, uh, I want to take you back to yesterday's class. I mean, so we created uh, a model. Uh, we created uh, the sample email, right, using uh, Grammarly earlier. So could you, I mean, uh, guide me or assist us in identifying any repetitiveness or inconsistency or lack of human touch from that created email so that uh, I identify whether it is AI or not? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, let's use this one. In that. Okay. Okay, thanks. So you want me to do the analysis? That's the question. Yeah, from the created email, I, I just want to see uh, the repetitiveness, the inconsistency. I mean, I, I'm just facing a little bit difficulty in identifying those. So on the provided emails, so you're not uh, finding any uh, of the as parameters a, that we have provided? Yeah, as a sample, if you could show us with, from this email, I mean, if it's possible. OK, it's, uh, okay we can do that. Okay. But it's going to take some time because I have to go through it multiple times, uh, but we can't do it. In the meantime, is there, are there any questions, other questions? Okay, um, so I'm just going through it, highlighting it. So uh, maybe I can just uh, reflect it on the Slack because um, I'm just reviewing it and I'm not seeing anything yet. But I will get back to you on the Slack. So am I audible or? Yeah, I'm okay. Thank you. I will wait. Yeah. 
Okay, uh, any other questions? Yeah, in case I don't know, or, okay, is it clear, at least, the session? Okay, Shalom understands it. And the file, and anyone else? Okay, uh, so I'm going to take that as a yes, and yeah, let's just wrap it up.